Drones. Drone strike. Drones. Drones. Drone strike. Drone strike. As the conflict in Ukraine sees no end, the defense industries of Ukraine have revved up to deal with the illegal Russian invasion. One of the notable weapons that have been developed in Ukraine is the UJ-26 Deaver. The loitering drone would be able to strike deep into Russian territory, something in which the Ukrainians have grown an appetite for. Produced by a private company, Ukraine Jet, the UJ-26 drone would boast a range of 800 to 1,000 kilometers or around 600 miles. It is notable that Moscow is only 450 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. We've seen an increase of cadence in Ukrainian strikes of Russian oil refineries, as outlined by this video by William Spina. When introduced in 2023, the propeller-powered drone would be purposefully designed for the current conflict. With a wingspan of around 2.5 meters, the drone is easily able to deliver its 20 kilogram or 45 pound payload fast distances. The drone would be able to stay up in the air for 7 hours with an air speed of around 200 kilometers per hour or around 125 miles per hour. The drone and wingspan is very unique as it has a smaller set of wings at the front than at the rear. The propeller engine would also create a very distinctive silhouette when flying. The Ukrainian armed forces would use the drone for strikes against Moscow, and we can see how the drone looks like from the ground. This helpfully annotated picture would detail the Beaver drone in news over Russian airspace. The Moscow attacks wouldn't cause any casualties, but damage several buildings and caused a shift in some of the Russian air defenses. The airframe reminds me of World War II planes, but they are much smaller in size compared to those historical fighters. Allegedly, the design of the two sets of wings would allow the drone to be more maneuverable in order to evade basic air defenses. This photo would show a closer look at the tail of the drone and we can see the small propeller that drives the drone. The fixed landing gear is also present, which indicates that the drone can take off and land from a runway. In terms of navigation, the drone is believed to use GPS and inertial navigation. It is unknown what other targeting systems are being used on the Ukrainian built drone. The stated price for the drones would be around $100,000, with the Ukrainian Armed Forces ordering 50 in July 2023. It is interesting to note that one of the Shahed series of drones similarly matches the specifications of the UJ-26 Beaver. Maybe the Ukrainians were inspired after seeing so much effort and destruction due to the Iranian provided drones. The Shahed 131 would be able to carry 15 kilograms of explosives to a range of around 900 kilometers. The general idea behind the Shahed 131 and Ukrainian Reaver drones would be to prioritize cheap cost and range, just like the naval drones like Mogura V5 or CBV. Losing a few of the airframes wouldn't be too much concern. This would be a quick overview of the Ukrainian built UJ-26 Beaver. This was episode 4 of Drones in Depth. I plan to release more, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching my video on the UJ-26 Beaver Long Range Attack Drone, developed within Ukraine to deal with the Russian invaders. Please like and subscribe as it helps out the channel immensely. And don't forget to have a phenomenal day.